Hi, welcome back to Q&A with Dr. K. Today's question has to do with the microbiome, those trillions of organisms that live in our intestinal tract that do so much for us to maintain our immunity and to uh, maintain neurotransmitters throughout the body. Uh, the question is, when one changes from an animal-based diet to a plant-based diet, how long does it take for our microbiome to adjust? Well, the question of uh, the microbiome being influenced by our diet is an appropriate one. Absolutely. The food we eat really determines the microbes that live in our gut. Uh, understand that the good bacteria and the problematic bacteria, they're already down in our gut, okay? Uh, it's not a matter of having to take probiotics there. The good guys are down there, the bad guys are down there. Uh, it depends what food is coming down to either nourish their growth or inhibit their growth. I like to look at the food stream similar to the role of the uh, orchestra conductor in a symphony orchestra that brings up the woodwinds and tones down the brass. Well, the same thing happens with the food stream. When we are eating animal flesh on a regular basis, uh, the carnitine, choline, uh, all the substances that are in animal muscle uh, fosters uh, bacteria in the bacteroidetes uh, phyla. And these are not friendly guys. And uh, their byproducts that irritate the intestinal wall, uh, possibly opening the door to Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Um, they um, uh, may actually promote the growth of colon cancer. Uh, you don't want to foster the growth of these microbes in your gut. Uh, fortunately, when we change the food stream, when we pull out the animal flesh, and now the food stream is completely plant-based, all these wonderful fibers, the, the lignans and other fibers in the, the green vegetables, the resistant starches uh, in the potatoes, and uh, the uh, helpful uh, fiber in the, uh, in the legumes uh, come down the intestine, and they promote the growth of the good guys, the Prevotella microbes. And these bacteria put out not only neurotransmitters that make us feel better, dopamine and serotonin, norepinephrine, uh, but they also have byproducts that are anti-inflammatory, that are anti-cancer, that give the message to the, to the colon wall, shh, calm down, everything's okay. So absolutely, the food you eat is absolutely instrumental. It is the uh, main determinant of the microbes that live, our, you know, live in our gut. That's why we refer to those fibers and nutrients coming down as the prebiotics uh, that, uh, that determine the assortment of microbes that live in our gut. So the question is, how long does it take to change? Not very long. Uh, upon adopting a plant-based diet, uh, we begin to see changes in the gut flora within 48 hours. It doesn't take long. But there's no hurry here. It's a slow process. But within two to three weeks, and certainly within a month, six weeks, uh, it's definitely a different uh, microbiome assortment of organisms. And uh, as a result, uh, you're going to be getting these benefits, big, soft, easy to pass stools, and hopefully less inflammation. And, uh, and the, the cherry on the vegan Sunday there would be a uh, uh, even a better uh, emotional and mental mindset because of all the lovely dopamine and norepinephrine that's coming into your brain complements of your gut bacteria. So the answer is it starts at about 48 hours, but it continues uh, through, through the first six or eight weeks uh, and then should last the rest of your life because uh, that healthy whole food, uh, plant-based food stream should be coming down uh, into your intestinal tract day after day uh, for all the time that you are on this wonderful planet. So I hope that answers your question and uh, uh, hope it improves your uh, food choices and uh, your, your confidence in a healthy microbiome.